The winners of the trip to the Nationals include the project Three Sisters, and that's Sarah Bell Garson. Uh, ultrasonic alarm, ultrasonic radar, and obstacle avoiding robot by uh, Dylan Bercier and Dylan Cameron. For Andrew A. Jr., extracting oil from some indigenous plants. Sarabal Garson and I go to Fisher River Creation High School. And my project is about the three sisters, beans, corn, and squash. And it's about how they grow and support each other in the garden. They can help each other grow faster in the garden. The Aboriginal story to it, it's a story about love. My name is Dylan and my partner's name is Dylan. We are going to build a robot that can avoid obstacles, and we think it is going to be awesome. We are part of the Keenan Geostagon First Nation, and we are really excited to use technology to solve real world problems. Hello, my name is Fred McKay Jr., and my project is extracting oil from cedar and juniper. I am so interested in indigenous medicinal plants. Show them how you ride uh, Iskidu and Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> I am Brad's teacher. We went to MFNR to prepare for the science portal. It was pretty fun, but also stressing at the same time because we had to talk about what's going to happen and it kind of made me nervous. Okay, oh, good morning, everyone. Hi, my name is Sarah Bell Garson. I'm from Fisher River Cree Nation. No. Hi, my name is Fred McKay Jr. I'm excited to go to Edmonton, but also scared at the same time. I've kind of got social anxiety, so I get scared when I meet face to face, but uh, Dylan comforts me. I'm feeling nervous. I'm mostly nervous about like all my stuttering because I stutter lots. Science is a good subject to explore. 
as a teacher, one of my priority is uh, really feeding them with information. But the, the thing is, they, it's up to them to, to create that you know, information into something real. Those two boys, I've known them for uh, about two years now, so I would just say there are there's kids, you know, goofing around, you know, they're really active. Their attitudes and everything really complements with each other. So, yeah, that's why I chose them to be uh, one of our representatives in our uh, community. good so far. It's been really busy and it's been hot and I've been trying to do as much reading as I possibly can. I've been trying to read up on my board just to, just to make sure that I can recite everything and I have everything like stuck in my head. I just told him, just be spontaneous, because we really prepared what he's going to, to tell the judges, but then he has some things on his mind on how to present it, and sometimes he wants to do it his own, his own way. I would like to thank my teacher, and she just gave me confidence to do it, and, and like helped me practice with my board. At the start, I was nervous, but I really got to know them. And I thought they were going to be scary, but no, it was nothing like that. And it was actually pretty fun. Well, my first judge, um, I couldn't answer a few of her questions because I didn't really know what to expect at first. And it was a little bit like, I was a little bit nervous and I didn't like say a lot of the things that I wanted to say at first. But like the last few judges, I did well because I knew what to expect this time. And I kind of knew, like I learned from my first one. Pretty fun. Uh, I got nervous a couple of times. I took a deep breath and uh, and I like uh, oh my gosh, we started over. Every time I stuttered, I just restarted my sentence and took a deep breath.
feel about this morning? It's just a nice place. I actually want to go there when I'm older for university because I want to get into engineering. It was really cool to see. I've never been to I've never been to a university like on a tour like that before. And I got to see those rocks and like computer programming. I got to learn a lot of new cool stuff and that was really cool. Uh, if we win, it's good. If not, it's okay. The first time they spoke in a large crowd, they are so quiet, you know. But as they go along, uh, present pretty much from, from regional levels up to, to this uh, Canada-wide, they're more confident right now, I, I can tell. I'm not counting on it though because I'm already proud of myself for coming this far. I got to make a lot of new memories with my new friends. I feel good, like I feel happy that I like did good. Stuttering. It doesn't bother him anymore. It's fine for him. It is part of him. All my friends are proud of me. I my community too. Just try your hardest. And even if you're not confident, just act confident. You'll get there. Just fake it till you make it. And um, just good luck. <laughs>